YouTube welcome back to my channel this is my mega basket for the week of April the 21st April is almost over like already and oh my goodness I can't get ready for how fast this year is going by but I am going to jump right in and do what I do and show you what I'm going to be using this week. The eyeshadow. I got a request to recreate one of my eyeshadow looks back from March. And I did the best I could. I know it's not like perfectly like it was then. I, I did the best I could. But at the same time, I was trying to compare a couple of palettes. So, um, let's see. So... I got a new palette from Revolution or Makeup Revolution, whatever you want to call them. And instead of using this Sultry palette on my eyes, which is the palette that I used in March that I got the request to recreate, I wanted to see how close this Revolution, the Hypnotic palette was to the Sultry palette. So this is the Sultry palette. This is the Hypnotic palette. Let me open this one up. They look a lot alike, except that the Hypnotic palette has one extra color in it. So you have 15 shades in this one. You have 10 shades, I mean, 14 shades in this one. But later on this week, probably on Tuesday, you all will see the look that I came up with. And I want to know down in the comments below, um which one you think is the ABH palette and which one is the Revolution palette. Let me know in the comments down below. Have a great day, y'all. Bye. I tried to go a little bit further back and I, I felt like I kept pulling out the same stuff over and over again. So I tried to go a little bit further back into the collection and pull out some things that I definitely have not touched in a while. So I'm going to start with my eyeshadows and the first thing that I pulled out is the Lorac Unzipped Gold Palette. This one um, is not like my absolute favorite. My absolute favorite one is the first unzipped palette. This one is okay. Lots of golds and deep browns and yeah. So this is the Unzipped Gold Palette. And I can make it work, but this here brown, when I think that it is going to be like a good crease color, it's a little darker than whatever I expect it to be. So I'm probably going to have to pull another shadow to go with this palette. But um, I think that's one of the reasons why I really didn't like this one as much as the first one. But we're going to use it because it's in the collection. The... Next one that I'm going to use, I don't know why this one just popped into my head this week. I think I kind of was browsing on the Revolution site and saw it. But this is the Self X Revolution Extra Spice Palette. And this is what it looks like. Really pretty with your neutrals and your pops of color. So, and the pigmentation on this one is pretty decent. I do like this one and her original um, collab palette with them i also pulled out one of the mega pro palettes this is the mega pro 4 palette and oops and it looks like this so the candle smells really good and it's really strong and i pulled out one other revolution palette and that is the emily edit the once palette I really, really like this palette, even though some people gave it kind of a bad review. I think it's really pretty. Some of the, <laughs> the shadows, granted, you do have to work harder to get payoff, but I think this is a really pretty palette. So I'm going to be using that this week. And those are all of the four eyeshadow palettes that I pulled out for the week. I didn't go extra crazy. I also didn't go extra crazy on the lips this week which is a surprise to me um i pulled out two sort of wardrobe lip wardrobes from doll 10. this one i got during the holiday and it's her lip pen lip crayons it was like a five piece collection 
and I'm not throwing it away because I think that the packaging is super cute with her sitting at her makeup mirror and for some reason you can see it a little bit better back here but she's sitting at her little makeup mirror doing her makeup so I am keeping that packaging but these are the crayons um definitely probably won't be using all of them but I'm just going to swatch them and show you what they look like this one is called blush worthy and it looks like this and I am like going towards her lip products a lot lately like she has uh, a lipstick like her regular lipstick is called alter ego that one i can just put on and go and not even worry about like a lip liner or anything and plus they are so moisturizing this one is called money maker and her most of her lip products tend towards the more neutral or nude like nude does not necessarily mean like a beige nude or peach nude or a brown nude um but she does consider these to be nude this one is called smoking hot and this one is called kiss and tail And as you can see, they are, they are very neutral. They can go with a wide. And you can see this one is my favorite. This one is called Drama Queen. They can go with a variety of eyeshadow looks. And that's why I pulled them out. Because I especially think they'll go with the palettes that I pulled out. Um, I also have, and she calls these the Complete Lip Wardrobe these i just recently picked up like i'm kind of addicted to dalton lip products so it is like a combo of it reminds you of the tart i forgot what they call them where the lipstick is on one end and the gloss is on the other end that is what these are so your lipstick is here and then this is your gloss and this one the gloss is seize the day with s-e-a-s and I mean the lipstick is seized today the gloss is hang 10 so I'm gonna swatch the lipstick for you and this is a peachy nude this is seize the day here and the coordinating gloss I will swatch right up under it and this one is so pretty it's almost like a pearly color it would be a perfect topper for it this one is called hang 10 you can probably barely see it but that is hang 10. the next one you have mimosa lipstick and island time lip gloss so this is mimosa lipstick here swatched it in the wrong place and island time gloss this cloth this gloss is a cream gloss this one it's not pearly like the other gloss i just showed you but this is the gloss that goes with it oh swatched definitely on the wrong side but you can see it this is the gloss right here and then the last one the lipstick is called drink in hand and the gloss is called at the beach so this is the lipstick drink in hand and this one i have worn already drink in hand right here and i keep touching right here and in the middle part of my hand and this gloss that goes with it is also a cream gloss and this is at, um, at the beach so at the beach is right here and this is definitely one I will wear on its own um, so those are the doll 10 products that I pulled out to use this week. I picked up two items from TJ Maxx lip products and it is a Vice Liquid Lipstick Urban Decay and this is in the shade 1993 and I picked up a Lipstick Queen lipstick and this is called Mr. Right Now 
and I am going to go ahead and swatch those for you. So this is Urban Decay's 1993, and it is right here and then this is a pretty bright sort of purpley pink this is lipstick queens mr right now and it is a very pigmented i really like that one so this is mr right now so we're going to try and incorporate those with some looks this week and the last thing that i have for the week are my blushes once again i tried to like reach back on stuff I know I haven't used in a while instead of pulling out the same thing like easy close to my hand so I pulled out a NYX blush and this is just one of their old they don't even call them powder blush it's just one of their old square blushes and this one is in the shade terracotta one of my favorite shades once it starts getting warm outside and it is right here because it has like a bit of a highlighting effect to it so only thing i have to do with that is put that on my cheeks and go um i pulled out um, a black radiance blush and this is in the shade this is one of their big, big blushes in the shade toasted almond i know i pulled that out before but i really really like this blush and this is toasted almond down here I pulled out a Bare Minerals Gen Nude blush, and I think this is the darkest one. This is in the shade But First Coffee, and But First Coffee is down here. I pulled out one of the regular, one of the first sort of pressed blushes, the Ready Blushes from um, bare minerals and this one is the shade the natural high which was like one of my absolute faves when these first came out and that is down here this is another one of those ones that it reminds me of nars orgasm so you can put it on your cheeks and get a glow so you don't have to put a highlighter and the last blush i pulled out is um from flower beauty it is the flower pots powder blush in wild rose kind of light but it works for me and we'll put that one down here very soft you can see it I'm always putting stuff in the wrong spot but this one is still pretty and shows up on my skin so those are the blushes that I pulled out and that is everything that I am throwing into the makeup basket for this week Thank you all so much for watching this video. Nunu, I will try to get a photo up. Maybe two. I'm, I'm going to be ambitious here and try to get two of them up with a looks from my makeup baskets for this week. Once again, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed, please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video coming out. Have a great day and may your day be as flawless as your makeup. Bye.